right, welcome to the second review of the evening, The Suicide of Rachel Foster, which is definitely a title Mm -hmm. um, that's direct and to the point. Um, Anyway, 1993, Lewis and Clark County, Montana, USA. Ten years ago, teenager Nicole and her mother left the family hotel after discovering her father... Leonard's affair with and the pregnancy of Rachel, a girl her own age who eventually committed suicide. Now that both of her parents have passed, Nicole hopes to fulfill her mother's last will to sell the hotel and make amends to Rachel's relatives. With the will and determination to put that chapter behind her, she returns to the hotel with her fa- with the family lawyer to audit the decaying structure. As the weather unexpectedly turns for the worst, Nicole has no way to leave the large mountain lodge and find support in Irving, a young FEMA agent using one of the first radio telephones ever built. With his help, Nicole starts to investigate a mystery far deeper than what people in the Valley thought. A story of love and death, where melancholy and nostalgia melt into a thrilling ghost tale. So that's painting a vivid scene. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, so we got the PlayStation 4 version of this game, so Petty Fan will be the reviewer for, of this game. All right, one big thing I mentioned up at the beginning is there are some trigger warning because this game does discuss things like suicide and grooming. So, yeah, if those are a problem for you, then mm. might I suggest looking elsewhere? Mm. <laughs> yeah, the, those are mentioned in the uh, bullet points I got here. So... Mm. Yeah, th- this is uh, this is one of those mature tales for adult people. Mm-hmm. I mean, like this is you know the actual meaning of that word, and not oh look, this has tits or blood in it. Yeah, indeed. And that's only mature by like rating standards, not by you know actual maturity. Anyway, so continue on, Petty. So yeah, this game is. Basically, a walking simulator. Mm. You know, you can go around, interact with objects. You eventually find, like, equipment you can use, like a flashlight. It's one of those ones you kind of, like, pull the handle to keep it charged. And there's well, also. There, hmm? Are there puzzles in this? Um, not really. Like, the closest thing I saw to a puzzle is um, where one of the, where the, like, room where they were keeping Rachel. Mm-hmm. But that isn't really much of a puzzle because it's literally at the end of the hallway with the plaque in front of it. Right. So, yeah, I wouldn't really consider that as a puzzle. Fair enough, fair enough. Anyway. And, yeah. Honestly, I wish that the walking speed was a little faster. Because, well, there is a run button, but it's, like, barely even faster than walking. Huh. Gotta wonder what the point was, then. Yeah, at least it's a toggle. Yeah, I've played games where you have to hold down on the joystick to run, and that's not fun. No, it's not. And yeah, you you basically are in constant contact with Irving, who seems to know more than he's letting on, but... Of all the games this is reminding me of, uh, reminding me of it's Firewatch. That. It has a lot of similarities to that, yes. Mm. Especially Irving here. Mm-hmm. You know, over the radio. Yeah. And yeah. Um, there's just. Like, you can pick up things and, like. You know, examine them. Like, you can turn it around and see what all. Uh-huh. Is in there. I don't. I haven't really noticed like anything that would be like, you know. Oh, look! There's a secret message on the back of this. 
is just kind of, ooh, look at the pretty 3D model we made. I must admit, I'm a sucker for that stuff. Uh, ever <laughs> since like, the original PlayStation did that stuff, like the original Resident Evil, like, mm-hmm. ooh, get this 3D rotation. Yeah. <laughs> and, like, like it's... It, we finally hit the detail point where you can actually zoom in on, um, like, an open book and you can actually read it. Mm-hmm. So that's kind of cool. And, yeah. <laughs> there, There isn't a whole lot that goes on, like, action-wise. Because, again, walking simulator. Mm-hmm. So, it's very much psychological horror. So, not like, say, Outcast or Amnesia. Yeah, and the... So far, I'm only, like, on the eighth day, but so far nobody's jumped out at me and tried to put, you know, an antler in my skull or something like that. <laughs> that's, that's very specific. Don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, then. And, yeah, so... Yeah, the um, story is kind of interesting. Uh huh. Though. <sighs> it doesn't flow very well, at least in my opinion. At least Maybe here just... early on. Mm. Well, do you know how long the game is supposed to be? Um. I've seen videos on YouTube where it runs about two and a half hours. But that's if, you know, you know what you're doing. I, that's not too bad in terms of <clears throat> walking around doing not a whole lot. Mm-hmm. I mean, <clears throat> some of the best in the genre are that long, like um, the Stanley Parable and Gone Home. Mm-hmm. And yeah. <laughs> um, how's the music? The, I don't believe there is much. Like, if you're near an on radio, there will be some music. But, like, as far as just walking in the corridors, there isn't any. Ah, uh, so everything's diegetic. Indeed. So there's a lot of ambience. <laughs> Indeed. Uh. Um, pricing? Ah, uh, I just saw it. Uh, okay. Steam pricing is eighteen dollars. I don't know if that's price parity with PS4 because it does. It won't 19, tell me. Nineteen ninety nine. Oof. It really depends if you like this genre or not. If you're a mm. fan of the genre, by all means, have fun with it. Because there's some pretty witty dialogue between you and Irving. It's fully voice acted in English. And, um, yeah, I think the only thing I would change is, you know, being able to walk a little faster. (laughs) Uh, But it's all about the journey. Indeed. Let's take it all in. (laughs) All right, then. Uh, Anything else? Um, there is a big glitch I actually noticed a little while ago. I don't know if it's because I was um, using remote play or whatnot. But I basically lost all audio. Like, I couldn't hear them talking or any um, ambient noises. So, yeah, that's, that's bad. Yeah, Indeed. I had to quit out of the game and just restart it, and it <laughs> seemed to solve the problem. But that's still, you know, something to keep in mind. Mm. Right then, so. I guess I'll about do it for uh, Suicide here. Mm-hmm. Um, be sure to tune in after the break as the Gallics will be reviewing Bounty Battle. 